Happy Friday, everybody. Uh, it's been a little bit, but uh, I've been working on this truck um, for the customer getting it done. If you follow us on Hills American Classics, you'll see uh, kind of a laundry list that we did on it. But uh, new grill, new headlight bezels, fix some wiring. Um, pretty decent old truck. The, the gentleman bought it sight unseen about five years ago. Um, but just needed a lot of things. This was a custom deluxe four speed 305 and somebody changed it to, obviously you can see Silverado badges there, uh, 350, uh, 700 R4. Um, didn't do a bad job, but just needed some couple things uh, done to it. Had to fix some of the HVAC um, things on it, but uh, the vents and stuff like that. There's a spare tire, spare tire carrier that it didn't have and I had an extra set of that so threw that in for him he's going to put that in himself once he gets a tire figured out but um anyway you can see pretty nice truck um we completely took the interior all the way apart um insulated everything there's his, all his extra parts um it did not have a dome light so we put an led dome light in it uh of course the dash is, is pretty nice but um one thing that we did do which is pretty cool. We put a set of Dakota digital gauges in it. And I don't know if you can see there because of the sunlight, but uh, really cool, really cool uh, setup. Pretty easy, takes a little time, but um, you can see, had to calibrate the speedometer here just a little bit ago. So um, pretty nice, pretty nice uh, setup. Probably something that I will go with on some of my stuff, but uh, really easy. And I heard a lot of good things about him, but uh, unfortunately he had uh, radio put in, somebody cut, I had to finish it all out, put dash speakers in it, and then four by tens in the back um, on the factory corners to kind of make it look factory. But um, you can see, yeah, pretty nice truck. Um, older gentleman that'll enjoy it and, and uh, be able to he wanted me to um just take some gauges out of another truck say an older one well once i got to kind of reading on it investigating it's a lot more work to do that than it is just to buy this setup and um, put it all in there and uh, it looks great you can change your colors um to just about any color you want but uh you can see now he's got a tachometer and i just went and put uh, gas in it so it's full um but everything reads good um but uh yeah i think that uh he'll be really happy with that it's really bright he'll be able to see it really good he's got his clock there but um anyway so definitely probably won't be the the last one we, it's the first one we put in but it won't be the last for sure so um and on this truck he's running a set of 33s with a stock lift you know a little two inch lift would do this truck really good but uh, you can see there, pretty stock under the hood. Um, still got the factory manifolds, but uh, pretty nice truck. He's been trying to get me to buy it or set up. He said when he's ready to, to sell it, maybe. Black's my color, but, but uh, yeah, really nice truck. So. Follow us on uh, Instagram, Facebook, Flint Hills American Classics, and see what we have coming up next.